Our first question is from BR Porter 23. What is the significance of body weight training when strength training and can it replace higher rep ranges with weights? It's actually a good question um, because on the surface, you think to yourself, you know, okay, I'm doing push ups. I can do 30 push ups. Why don't I just do bench press with a light weight that I can do 30 reps with? Um, am I going to get the same value? You're actually not. No, different. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of skill that comes from exercise, learning how to do a movement. And it's very valuable to learn how to move your body around versus move a weight around your body. Well, I mean, they both have tremendous value, just different. That's a closed chain and open chain. I mean, there's uh, having an open chain is is uh, lots of value to have, having to stabilize the weight and space. Um, mm-hmm. So it's just flat out. It's just different. It's different, and both are beneficial. It's not a replace or an either or. It's I think both belong. Yeah, they're complementary to each other. Right, right. Yeah. Now, as far as like functional ability, they both have lots of benefit for functional ability. But I will say this: when you're first started working out, or you're let's say you're a trainer and you're working with uh, youth, I like body weight movements to start with. I think mm-hmm. learning to move your body around in space, learning to control your body, has so much carryover into everything else. Um, I think uh, m- many routines place almost no value on exercises like that, partially because it's a skill that can be difficult to learn. Like you could work out all the time with weights and then go and try and do pull-ups and dips or you know a, a single leg. You might have enough strength to do a single leg squat with your body, uh, but you may not have the control and stability to do it. So here you are squatting five here. You know, I'm, I'm a person like that. I can squat – you know, mid 300 pounds, have me do a single leg squat and I start to struggle because I don't have that skill. Which one do you think is going to, you know, talk to my functional ability out in the real world? Uh, They both do. So neglecting one actually takes away from your progress. As far as the muscle building effects or the body sculpting effects, um, because it's different, because it's novel, throwing those body weight movements in, you will notice uh, better, uh, you know, muscle development um, in your body, like dips and pull-ups. I like to see that a lot of people do those, but not enough people do those two exercises. Those are great exercises to get good at, like get good at being able to do a pull-up or get good at being able to do a dip mm-hmm. um, and watch how your body, you know, starts to, you know, kind of develop. Um, and if you need any evidence of the aesthetic effects of body weight training, look at high-level gymnasts. You know, mm-hmm. these are people that, they use some weights, but most of the stuff they do is body weight. Yeah, and, and I think people aren't – like it's tough because you do have to get somewhat creative in terms of how to intensify uh, some of these movements uh, without weights and, and to be able to – um, you know, make these workouts more challenging after you get somewhat adapted to push ups, dips, and pull ups and whatnot. And um, but there's there is a lot of ways. Like you see these calisthenic guys that are out there doing stuff with bars and uh, like gymnasts. And there's levels to it that you you can definitely get you know massive strength gains from and and very very much more uh you know this this proprioceptive ability of of. Uh, understanding your body, I think, and and being in your body a bit more than even with weights. Hey, didn't you? Weren't you scheduled to do some parkour with your son? I was. Yeah. Did you do it? Yeah. You're like there's there's this waiting list that's crazy right now for it. So what? we went to the gym and we didn't even get to run the class yet. So we're on like for three weeks uh, waiting to do this. But I can't wait. It, it looks it looks like a riot, dude. Like really? There's, yeah. There's all these um, different obstacles and things, and it's like Ninja Warrior uh, obstacles and things in there that you can jump through and climb and and uh, swing from and all that. So it looks like a good. Oh, time. that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. 